Are you feeling any better, Mr. Wake? I'd like to leave. Am I free to go? Well, we still need to talk about... Am I under arrest? No, of course not. But I need to know where you'll be staying so I can get in touch with you. I'd avoid the motel. The Majestic is known for its roaches. The cabin Majestic roaches. Really nice. <laughs> that sounds perfect. <laughs> I'm Dr. Emil Hartman. I oh, the smug guy. To stay at Cauldron Lake Lodge. Did you talk to my wife? I had the pleasure of discussing your situation with her on several occasions. Did you set something up with her? I invited her here. My clinic is a place where. Oh! oh. oh. Nobody move! Get your hands off of my client! Who are you? I'm Barry Wheeler, his agent. If you oh my god. With Mr. Wake, you talk to me. Nice bubble fest, buddy. Once I sick my lawyers on your asses. No harm done, Sarah. I'm alright. I don't want to press charges. Mr. Wake, my offer still stands. Get me out of here. Continue like this and you won't. Ha <laughs> ha! Take this! What was that about, Al? We don't need a replay of that thing with the paparazzi. I thought they were gonna lock you up. I had to talk to someone. I told Barry everything. He thought Whew. I was certifiable, but when he heard about the manuscript, I had him. The fact that I'd written something, even if I couldn't remember it, was enough for him. He smelled money. And he believed that Alice had been kidnapped. Anything a true businessman. I had a midnight appointment with the kidnapper in a place called Lover's Peak, somewhere in Elderwood National Park. The plan was to rent a cabin. I don't like it, Al. I don't like any of it. It's not good. In fact, it's the absolute opposite of good. Mr. Wake! Barry, you found him! Hi, Rose. Oh, wow. I was just thinking about you, too. Great. I was just bringing Rusty some coffee. He's on the balcony, looking after Max. Poor thing. I really need to go. Great to see you again, Mr. Wake. Later. Bye-bye. Uh, Not gonna miss you. Later. Uh, <laughs> Who's Max? <Yeah. laughs> what an airhead. Jeez, Mr. Takes a swing at everybody. Uh -huh. This is not her fault. She's a very nice girl and, more importantly, a fan. God damn it, I was looking for a ceiling fan to come up with some dumb joke, but there's none. <laughs> Back to Charlie, Colombian Mammoth. The skeleton of Colombian Mammoth. Um, pardon my Latin. Mammothus Colombi. This specimen, estimated to be 14,000 years old, holy crap. Looking good still. <laughs> was recovered from the Labrador. Labriata Pits. Oh, Tar Pits. <laughs> <laughs> Unnecessary accents. In 1981, it was donated to the Elderwood National Park in 1998, when the Colombian Mammoth became Washington's state fossil. Named Bucktooth Charlie, it has since become the park's official mascot. <laughs> I like to imagine that on holidays, some guy just puts this... <laughs> puts this <laughs> skull on his head and runs around. <laughs> that is would kind of be wonderful. Oh, look at this! That <laughs> oh, that is a very sad, very sad buffalo. Is that a buffalo? I don't know. His eyes are. Very life li lifelike, though. All right, <laughs> I'm getting distracted again. Elderwood. <laughs> Coincidentally, Elderwood is also the brand name of Viagra. <laughs> <laughs> saying in the car just listen to yourself what you shot a guy and his body just disappeared yeah I kind of did what, are you high have you been drinking no look Barry I'm missing a week and someone's got Alice do and everything's just and what it sounds like when you say stuff like that don't no, get me wrong I do story would be a bestseller <laughs> 
so what are you when you start oh. confusing fiction <laughs> with reality you're buying yourself a ticket to the funny farm right, wait here yeah you wait here way to put them in place Alan easy there boy I'm almost done hey rusty right you run cabins oh mr. wake I'd shake your hand, but mine are kind of full here. Actually, I'm sorry about this. Would you mind grabbing the registration form from the desk? It's just across from Bucktooth Charlie. Okay, sure. What Aww. happened? Crazy poachers. Max here got his foot caught in a trap. They're illegal to use here. Hell, you're not supposed to hunt within the park at all. But that doesn't stop some lowlifes. <sighs> well, at least well, Max is low life okay. still got something to eat. They gotta eat something. Max is still groggy from the shot I gave him, and I'd rather not leave him alone just yet. The form's on the desk across from the You monster, are you drugging ducks? Drugging dogs? You sick bastard. Okay, boy. We're almost done here. You can't just go and meet a kid. Seriously, Barry, would you just shut up for a second? Run around the berry. Run around the berry. She's my wife, and it's my call. Can we talk about this later? No. This whole thing it Listen, you hit Well, I'm about to hit your head. Jeez, if you don't you shut up. You got to understand how crazy all this sounds. If you're trying to pull a joke on me, freak me out, it's working. Ha <laughs> ha, let's have a laugh on Barry. Well, you had me going there real funny, Al. You can quit it now. All right. Sign the form. Can do. And then it vanished. <laughs> the spooky ghost form. Ooh. <laughs> oh. This is the form you wanted. And here are the keys. Okay, you're all set, Mr. Wake. Glad to have you staying here. Thanks. Can you tell me how to get to Lover's Peak? Oh, sure. It's at the end of the nature trail. Just follow the paths, you'll get to it eventually. It's an easy walk. Nice spot, too. <laughs> All right. If you have any trouble finding it, just keep your eyes on the radio mast. It's right below that. Ah. All right. Get the keys, get to the car. Can do. You're asking me to believe that you shot a dude who went poof into thin air. Yes. A guy who was bulletproof until you pointed a flashlight at him. That's right. You hear that from people who end up spending time in padded rooms. Maybe. Strapped to their beds, wearing white shirts with two long tangled up sleeves. Uh, and no. I'm not, pills. <laughs> I'm not into that now, kind of stuff. You make cruel jokes about people who believe that kind of stuff. You're the skeptic. You gave me an hour long lecture on homeopathy last month. What was it? If there's no proof, it's pure bullshit. Period. <laughs> That's the laughs on me then. Ow, come on! I mean, okay. Okay, maybe something weird happened to you, okay? Well, thanks for the like hard vote of confidence. All I'm saying is you gotta throw me a bone here, bestseller. What would you think if it was me? There's no way you should be going out at midnight with a gun. No one asked you to come here, Barry. Either work with me on this or go straight back to New York. Your choice. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's just crazy talk, Al. Al! Al? Look at that face! Holy oh, shit! Or call the FBI! Damn it, Barry! The killer! This is not a goddamn debate, <laughs> Barry. <laughs> I'm going to Lover's Peak. He said to come alone. Okay, okay then. I understand. But you're my best friend and I'm worried that you're not right in the head. Tell me what to do to help and I'll do it. You stay here, and if I'm not back by morning, call the cavalry. Can you get me a shotgun out also? That would be really nice. Bless you. Just be careful with the natives, Al. These yokels are dangerous. Everybody hates a tourist, or it'll be deliverance all over again. Bless you. Bless you. <laughs> oh, this place is trying to kill me. I'll bet there's mold in here, spores, poison ivy. God poison God. ivy. <laughs> this is so not worth a 15% commission. <laughs> 
Okay, what can I steal from this house? Let's see. Uh, turn the lights on. Oh, no. Switch them back on. Batteries. Nice. I knew there would be something here. Open the door. Cannot open the door. Uh, what was that? There was something... What? There was like... Oh. No. Oh. Can go out this way. Well... Alright. Go out here. Just like this. Just like this, just like this. Kicking over. <laughs> what a crazy person kicking over plant plants already. Okay, I. <laughs> I've got the controls mixed up already. Alright, what's over here? Any goods for me? No. Oh, what? Look at this well. It's not it's not even a proper well. <laughs> That's just lazy. That's lazy game design right here. <laughs> Look at that jacuzzi. Even this is deeper than that well. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of talking, a lot of walking, not a lot, not a lot of action, so far. I'll wait here, Al. I'll hold down the fort. I'll be with you in spirit every step of the way, Al. Watch the door now. Yeah. <laughs> See, he feels it. He feels it's something not right. Oh goddamn crow! I will shoot you. Uh, maybe. <laughs> Pick it up. Just target practicing, Barry. Nothing to worry about. Just target practicing. I knew I should have gone to the cops. This wasn't the smartest thing I'd ever done, but I was still angry with Barry for trying to talk me out of it. These people had called me right in the sheriff's station. The cops wouldn't scare them. And they had Alice. Oh. F fuck you, King. Ah. Oh my god. Are you serious? Screw you. Screw you. Game. Welcome back to the show, folks. As promised, our very own Dr. Nelson has just parked his rear end in the studio. Doc! <laughs> that has a double meaning! <laughs> Butt sex. <laughs> they liked it too. No plan, really. Just taking the atmosphere. I'm getting a little too rickety to do much more than that, you know. Oh, tell me about it. No sack race for us older gentlemen, huh? <laughs> yes, exactly that. But I'm gonna check out the parade, of course. And I'll be one of the pie contest judges, too. <laughs> uh, well, that takes a different kind of constitution. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's my kind of exercise. <laughs> now, Doc, seriously, you're in pretty good shape, though. You're the outdoors type. I, I know for a fact you're an avid fisherman. That's right. Matter of fact, just caught a heck of a large mouth bass early this morning. But you're not taking part in the fishing. Sounds contest? something like No, no, not this year. Um, see, Pat, I'm just not that competitive anymore. So yeah, about that oh, bass yeah, sounds something. So, sounds. All right, I completely ruined that joke here. <laughs> I'm not even gonna finish it. <laughs> I lost a moment. The participants are probably pretty happy you feel that way. <laughs> well, Pat, that's kind of you to say. I just love those, like, radio segments and all that. No. 
Really? Really? I'm switching the lights on. Fuck you. No jump scares, please. Thank you. But seriously, though, that was not even funny. Fucking asshole. Wow. Just wow. Uh, yeah, I'll just keep on going. Uh oh. What the shit is this? What the shit? I do not like it one bit. What the shit? What the shit? I do not like it one bit. Moonshine cave? Oh, that sounds like a place I would visit. I would w w visit. There. I spelled it right this time around. Wow, somebody trashed this place. Sparta! Yeah, that wasn't really scary this time around. See, I'm adapting. Uh, there's nothing in here. I'm just gonna hope that this is wine and not something else. Use the TV. Ooh, here we go. Crime and punishment. The cancer and cure of civilization. But some crimes are impossible to punish. Especially in night springs. Tonight's episode. I should get some the chips. He's inside, Agent. He's a weird one. So, you're confessing to killing that guy, huh? Why? And it coming? Yeah, but why would you do that? I mean, you're a nice guy. Normal. Took a kid to a soccer game. So how come at the game, you pick a guy and quoting from the arresting officer's report here, assault the victim's head area repeatedly with the weapon of choice being a pair of bare fists. Wow, that sentence really flows, huh? Hmm. Maybe you're not the literary type. Okay, so you mess him up. But why? Who was that guy? We couldn't ID him. Why would a guy like you do him like that? I didn't like his face. Well, you must have hated it, because you really went to town there. I mean, there's no way to tell what he looked like. No ID on him, either. That must be difficult. But then we ran the fingerprints. Got a match. Your prints. Identical. Huh. How about that? Your son said you were wearing a white shirt when you took him to the game. But the white shirt is on the dead guy. Dun dun dun! It's plenty red now. Oh. Don't get away with this. Do you really think that's in any way relevant to me? I had plenty of time to talk to my boy before the cops arrived, you know? He won't stop screaming, am I right? You think he's ever gonna be okay? <laughs> I left my mark. Believe me. You, you bastard. What? You gonna shoot me? What's the point? I'm going to prison. You got me. I... I don't understand any of this. And you never will. this time, huh? Alright, that was kinda creepy. Bad acting, but still kinda creepy. Yeah, 
Maybe I should call 911 right now and be done with it. <laughs> hey, would you look at this? Pick it up. Don't mind if I do. 